Hello, my name is Ravel Gaither and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you guys along on a process of me making this really amazing handbag. And this is my second time making a handbag in a style and I love how it came out so much. It's just such a classic handbag style. I feel like it's really hard to not like this silhouette and shape of a bag. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show the bag and talk about it. So let's do that. So this is the bag that I make in this video and look at this beauty i love how this design came out so much the stitching and the quilting alone on this is just hands down amazing so with this bag again it's a handbag i did this really nice denim it almost looks black but it's a really really dark blue denim and this one is actually made of hemp so i bought it from this supplier in hong kong i have i bought it a while ago i haven't used it until this uh, project but it came out so good i love the stitching on this bag this is definitely some of my best top stitching i love top stitching it's one of my favorite parts of sewing and i'm always practicing at it but it's getting so good i love it so much i did do purse feet on the bottom as well and again this is just a really classic handbag style i love it it does have a really nice meaning to it i kind of go over it in the video so make sure you watch this um understand what the meaning of this design is so if you do want to stick around and watch me make this piece please do make sure you this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below let me know what you think if you're new to my channel make sure you also subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you can be notified when i upload any new videos or things like that and with all that being said let's get into the video all right so i'm back in the studio and i already know i already know y'all miss me it's okay it's okay relax i miss y'all too like it's okay bookie miss each other like it's okay but besides that today is october 22nd i'm starting on another handbag and i've just kind of been on the road recently i've just been making stuff having a lot of fun the handbag that i'm going to be making in this video i don't have a sketch because typically i show you like my digital sketch on my ipad i didn't do one because i feel like i couldn't get it right i tried to do one but i just couldn't get the drawing right to get how i wanted it to look so this is one of those bags where it's like i'm just gonna have to make it and hope that it comes out what i see in my head so i'm gonna be making the same handbag in this style. Now I'm not I'm not doing this design. This is the Munion handbag, but I'm going to be making the same style of a handbag, but I'm going to do it in a completely different way. So I'm going to go ahead and show you kind of like the pattern of what I'm going to be going with for this bag. You already saw in the intro, so it's nothing too crazy, but let me grab this stuff. So first off, the color that I'm going with for this bag is this really nice dark blue denim. Now it does look like a black uh, but it's a really dark blue and I love this denim. This is my first time actually using this. I bought this so long ago. It's this um, denim made from hemp. This bag is completely made from hemp and I bought it a while ago from this supplier in Hong Kong. I have never used it yet. It's a selvage denim, really good quality. And I like it because you can kind of see like the hemp fibers in the denim and it's just really nice. It gives it like a really nice texture and look. So I'm really excited to use this. So I have all of my pieces cut out and I did do my templating already. So if you know me you know i love a good template that is like my thing to say but this is essentially the style that i'm going with so i'm going with this really curvy design and this is my template so all the holes are already punched where all the lines are so essentially i'm going to lay this on top of my fabric piece dot all of the holes remove it and then connect all of the lines to create the template so i'm going to do a quilting design so all of these are going to be quilted stitches and i think it's going to give it a really nice puffy curvy type style and situation and i'll explain a little bit later the meaning of this design i feel like it's going to be a little bit too much and it's going to make the intro way too long so again i already have all of my pieces cut out i'm super excited i'm trying a few different things with this style of a handbag um, compared to the last way that I made it because there was a few things where I said oh if I ever remake this I'm gonna try it this way so um, one of them being the way that I interface so on the bottom of this bag the last one that I did I feel like I didn't interface it to be stiff enough so all of the interfacing that I'm using on this bag are well, uh, no, I'm using Profuse, which is the white, and then I'm using Decaville Heavy. So this, I doubled up on the Decaville Heavy on the bottom of this one. So it's two layers of heavy to really give it that stiff, firm bottom that I wanted on the last bag that I feel like I didn't have because I only did one layer of the Decaville Heavy. So two layers on that. And that's one of the differences. And with this one too, again, I'm doing a quilted design. So I, in the past, when I do quilted design, quilted design quilted designs it shrinks my pieces so i'm gonna try this new technique where i cut the foam shorter than the respective fabric piece and i'm going to use some double-sided tape to stick it down and hold it in place so it's going to be outside of the seams it's not going to make it bulky and it shouldn't shrink it so i'm going to try it and hope that it works well it's, it's, it's some new stuff it's some new stuff going on we're trying some new stuff today but 
that's the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead, do all of my templating, do the quilting, and then I'll check back in and kind of let you know what's up. I'm not nervous to go into this. I'm actually really excited. I love I love the way the Moonion handbag came out, so I know I'm gonna love this. I just hope that I love this design. Because again, I didn't do a sketch. I'm kind of going off what I see in my head and I'm just hoping that it's gonna come out right. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into that. All right, so it's the next day and I literally spent, I'm looking at my timer right now, eight hours and 13 minutes just doing the quilting alone on this project. When I tell you this took me so long, my hands ache, my back aches, my arms ache, like I'm just aching. It took me forever and really it took me so long because one, First of all, very gorgeous, very beautiful, very amazing stitching on this bag. It took me a really long time because I did a double stitch. So essentially I'll do one stitch and then I literally go directly over that stitch and I have to walk each and every individual stitch and make sure the needle is hitting in the same exact spot. And I like to do a double stitch because it makes the um, stitching look thicker. It gets the, it makes the color pop more. And it just, I don't know, I think it just pops a little better against the denim. But oh my goodness, so time consuming. So this is what the front's looking like, amazing. And then we have the back. I love this quilting work so much. Some of my best quilting. And also making the foam piece much smaller than the actual fabric exterior made it so much easier it didn't shrink at all like literally it hasn't shrunken in any way shape or form it is the same exact size as it was before and i think it's going to be easier because the foam isn't going to be in the seam allowance so it's going to make that a lot more easier and i can't believe it took me that long to figure out oh make your foam smaller than the actual pattern piece i used to just cut it the same as the exterior based it on and then do all the quilting which made it so much more annoying to work with because it would shrink it it would just be in the seam allowance make it really bulky and it was just too much so yeah, I'm literally loving this so far. And with this design, I want to tie it in with the meaning or kind of just convey a message of being yourself. And you know, all the different paths that a person can take in life, but as long as you're yourself, you'll always end up on the right path. So each of these represents a different path and like the mazes or the crazy things that may go on during that one path. Cause me personally, I've lived a lot of different lives. I felt like in this one lifetime, like I used to make funny videos on the internet. I wanted to be a comedian. I wanted to be a soap maker. I was doing that for a while. I wanted to, I was a, into book binding, like binding books and making that. I was a very, very religious Christian at one point. I was a like a very diehard conspiracy theorist at one point. Like I've been through a lot of different phases in my life and just being a content creator. Now I'm a bag maker and I was a fashion designer for like a lot of different lives I have lived. But as long as like you're yourself and you're always following your heart and just your interests and things like that, you're always going to be on the right path, even when you feel like you're not. So I kind of want to tie that in with this piece and it kind of looks like little roads to me. So I'm probably going to tie it in with that. I'll figure that out a little later on, but this is where I'm at so far. I love the meaning of this bag and I think it's going to be really cool. So. Now what I need to go ahead and do, if you watched me make the last handbag, I have these little bottom overlay pieces that I'm gonna put on the bottom. So essentially it's going to go on here like this, like so, like that. And then I also have the strap connectors, which are right here. I did all of the prep work already. So these are the strap connectors, if it would focus. I'm doing rounded ones. I think it just looks really good with this design. And I'm also gonna go ahead and sew my name tag on. So this is a name tag. I also did like a really nice gold embroidery on here. It's called khaki, but to me it looks like a gold color. So I'm gonna go ahead, sew my name tags on. 
connections. Attach the strap connectors, do the bottom overlay, then the notch check back in and let you know what's next. And I'm gonna be using gold hardware on this bag. I don't, or it's called brass, but I don't have the hardware on the table right now, so I'm not even gonna worry about that, but I'm gonna go ahead and start working on that and then I'll kinda check back in and let you know what's up. So let's do that. All right, so it's two days later, so it's not the next day, but the day after. I didn't do anything yesterday. Well, I had to do other work yesterday, so I wasn't able to come in the studio and work on the bag, so it's now a full day later. But this is where I stopped off, and this is how it's looking. Oh my gosh, this looks so freaking good. So I went ahead and added on the strap connectors. I also added the rivets, and then I put the bottom uh, overlay panel on. So I did the same for the front and for the back, and then the last thing that I went ahead and did was I hemmed the raw edges because again with this style of a bag the way that it's constructed you hem the edges in and then sew the zipper onto it versus sewing everything i don't know how to explain it i i didn't know how to explain the last one i still don't know how to explain it but you'll be able to see what i'm doing so i have the front and the back done and then this is what the back is looking like of course again i went ahead and hemmed those edges and i have all this extra space down here because i didn't want the foam to be uh so lower on this end because i knew i was gonna sew this bottom panel on and i've learned from experience in the past when i do overlay pieces and i do quilting with the foam if i don't cut it shorter where the overlay pieces are going to be it's going to be really bubbly and foamy underneath here and it looks really wonky and weird so i cut it higher so that this will lay nice and flat and then the quilting kind of starts above where this overlay piece is so that's just something that i learned from previous quilting projects and i kind of implemented in this one so glad i did because it looks amazing so now the next thing that i need to do is start on the lining and the reason why i'm starting on the lining now is because the way that this bag is sewn the lining and the exterior have to be sewn together at the same time so i have to kind of have both of those pieces done so for the lining i'm gonna do it with black now if you know me you know i typically don't do black for my bags on the linings but i think this color is gonna look really good on the inside of this and i didn't really have any other color that wasn't like I don't know, I, I really didn't want to do a color that was like really bold and crazy. I wanted to do something a little bit more laid back and chill. So black was the closest thing. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with black for the lining. It is waterproof canvas. And then this is my name tag for it. So I did my name tag with the gold color embroidery. And so I'm gonna do a gold top stitching on the inside too as well. And for the inside, I'm gonna do a zipper pocket, slip pocket, the basic that I normally do. And I do also have these pieces cut out because I have to do little side gussets. So I'm gonna do the side gussets and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead, start on the lining, and then I'll check back in and let you know what I'm gonna do next. So let's do that. All right, so it's been a little while later and I went ahead and finished up uh, putting in the zipper pocket and the slip pocket. So this is what the lining is looking like. I went ahead and did like a, I don't even know what color this is. Maybe like a really light brownish color. I don't know, I thought it would look really cool with the gold stitching. I went ahead and add my name tag and then for the inside, I also did my Made by Rovel Gaither tag, which I do on the inside of all my zipper pockets. So that's what this side looks like. And then I also went ahead and did the slip pocket on this side. Super nice, the quality on this is amazing. And I also 
went ahead, I think I did this off camera, I hemmed the raw edges of the perimeter of the fabric because again, it has to be hemmed the way that this bag is constructed. So, oh, another thing too that I did, I forgot. I did the little gussets as well. So I sewed up the little side gusset pieces. So I have my zipper already cut out. The color that I'm going with for the zipper is I'm using a black zipper tape with an antique brass coil, even though I'm using regular brass on the exterior i'm gonna use an antique brass coil because i think it'll just look really good together even though they're different finishes i think it'll be really dope especially with the darker denim and the gold stitching it's just i know it's gonna look good and i'm just excited to try it so i'm gonna go ahead sew the zipper on which with this bag i have to i'll kind of show you but it's like basting the zipper on like so and then you have to take the back of the lining piece place it down and then do another row stitching. So it's not really difficult. The last time I did this bag, I would say it was difficult because of the shape of it and like the awkwardness of it was really difficult to work around. But I think I'm gonna try staples, holding it with staples this time. Cause last time I just used double-sided tape, but this time I think I'm gonna do some staples to kind of make it a little bit easier on myself. Hopefully it works well, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'll let you know what's next. So yeah, so far project's going really good. So let's do that. All right, so it's the next day. I did not film that much of the process of me attaching the lining and top stitching and all that stuff because I had one of the most difficult times actually doing this. And yesterday I was only able to do the front part. I tried to do a little bit of the back and I messed up and I kept messing up. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna come back tomorrow, restart. And I came back today to do it. And I was having so many issues and the lining is not perfect, but it is the best that it is gonna, 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 gonna get. It's the best that it's going to get as of right now. So it's kind of, it's inside out right now. So this is what the front side is looking like. I have it on, has a little slip pocket. These are the little side gussets right here. And then this is the back part with the zipper pocket. I also went ahead and based it on the bias binding piece so that once I sew the bottom on, everything's ready to go already. And again, I'm sorry I didn't film that much. It's just really hard to film certain parts of, with certain bags because it's like the angle that I have to sew at. It's like my head's going to be in the way or it's not going to be a focus. So it's like I might as well just not even record me doing that because I'm not going to be able to use the footage. Even though it's been kicking my butt, it's definitely coming out really nice. Um, so I don't know why either. It just... Ever since yesterday, I just really haven't been feeling the best. I don't really know where it came from, the feeling. It's just like unmotivation. I don't know if it's towards this project or just like where it's coming from, but I just haven't really been the last day and a half motivated. So I don't know, child. We gonna get through this. So now for this next part, what I need to do is I need to go ahead and sew the little purse feet bottom supports onto the bottom of the panel, the bottom panel piece. And again, I'm interface this one to be stiffer than the last time that I made this bag or this style of a bag. So I doubled up on the heavy, so it's a lot stiffer on the bottom, which I love the feeling of. Hope it's not too difficult sewing this on because I just need the rest of this to go as smooth as possible because I'm telling you, I was almost like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this, but I'm gonna go ahead, sew the bottom supports on. And I also have these purse feet that I'm going to use. I'm using these like circular flat head um brass purse feet if it's gonna focus just regular brass so yeah i'm gonna go ahead do this and then i'm gonna sew the bottom on and then do the piping not piping the bias binding and then from there i'll have to sew the handles on but i'll check back in and let you know kind of like how it went when i go to sew the bottom on before i get into the handles and yeah sorry if i also seem off again i'm just not really feeling at my best right now i don't know where it's coming from or why but we still got to keep going. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and yeah, that's what you're gonna see. So let's do that. All right, so it is the next day. I went ahead and flipped everything right side out. Everything is finished as far as what needs to be done 
with the physical bag, but look at how amazing this looks. Oh my gosh. I honestly didn't think that I was going to be able to get through this. There was a few parts in this project where it was just like, I, I swear when I got to the end, I was like, thank you God. Cause I honestly was like, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this. Cause it was just, this one really kicked my butt. It definitely tested my patience, all of those things, but it looks amazing so far. And the lining, it's not 100% perfect, but it honestly is not bad. Like, I don't think it's bad at all. The only thing I would say is, um, I don't know if you can see a little bit of the yellow stitching right here is popping through in this corner and in this corner right here because the lining didn't exactly cover that area, but I got it literally the best I could. I'm not gonna beat myself up about that because yeah, but I am really happy with how this is looking. So now the last thing that I need to go ahead and do is sew up the handles. So I'm doing two road handles for this bag. Um, and the hardware on this one is a little bit different than the one that I did for the Munion flower handbag. These ones are more square and they're longer. So the handles are going to sit a little higher up and longer than how they did on the Munion flower bag. But I honestly don't mind. I think it's going to look pretty cool. And the only reason why I changed up the hardware is because these were the only brass rectangle rings or square rings that I had. So I just used what I had. So I'm going to go ahead sew up these handles again i'm doing rolled handles i just really hope that this last part is smooth i kid you not when i was going to sew the bottom oh also this is what the bottom looks like i also did put the purse feet looks really good when i was going to sew these bottom things on i had to seam rip so many times i lost count after i think five little stuff like that it's a little stuff like that that was testing my patience so i really hope this last part goes smooth so i'm gonna go ahead do this and then i will be done so yeah let's go ahead and knock this out All right, so it's been about a week since I last finished up the bag and I love how this piece came out so much. It is definitely some of my best stitch work and just quality. The quality on this is insane. I say it all the time in my videos. I really wish that you guys could feel the quality of the bag through the screen. But sadly, you can't. And again, with this bag, I did want to convey a message and kind of bring in, you know, one, something that I def personally have went through in my life, but I feel like a lot of people go through of just, you know, going through a bunch of different paths in life, trying to find their one and all these different things. They feel lost and confused. They don't know if they're on the right path. They don't know if they're, you know, they don't really know what they're doing. They're just trying a bunch of different things, trying to find their thing. Um, but really it's like, you know, as long as you're yourself and you're always following, you know, what you're curious about, you know, what you're interested in, any questions that you have, if you're following that and you just stay true to yourself and really listen to yourself and the things that you're interested in, you're always going to end up on the right path. So I really wanted to convey that message and, you know, have the swirly paths and all that stuff. And like each one represents a different path and the mazes within that one path. And like, it's just a bunch of stuff. Cause again, I went through a lot of different journey. I went on a lot of different journeys and was in a bunch of different hobbies and things like that, trying to find my thing. But the crazy thing about it too is that every path that I've been on and every or every hobby that I've you know endured if that's the right word endured any hobby that I you know ventured on if that makes sense I took away something from that and it's so crazy it's like I use it in in this current in this current state of where I am in my life like every single thing that I've went through or journey or path that i bent down it's like it's all it's it's weird it's like it all gets brung into one into the current state of you 
I don't know if I'm, I'm I, be, I don't script my videos. So when I'm talking, I, sometimes I'm like rambling and I just like don't know what to say because I'm trying to find the words as I'm speaking. My brain moves faster than my mouth can. So yeah, um, I don't script anything. I just talk. But yeah, I, I really wanted to convey that message. I really hope that that made sense. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do some final shots and talk about the bag and talk about the things that I love about it. So first off, like I've been saying throughout the whole video, I love, love, love the stitching on this piece. This is some of my best top stitching and top stitching is one of my favorite parts of sewing. I'm always practicing at it and this is just beautiful i love it so much i love the way the gold pops on the denim and another thing too i love the hardware differences because again i went with brass rectangle rings and brass rivets but for the zipper i went with the antique brass and i think it just looks really cool clash together against the dark denim with the gold stitching like it just pairs beautifully together and on the bottom i love the purse feet you know we have the little rounded ends i think is a really good addition to the design i love how that looks as well i keep saying love but i just love this bag the back is also really amazing and the quilting on this is also just so good i love a good quilted bag and i don't do it as often one because i couldn't ever figure out how to get it without it being you know shrunken but now that i know how to do it i'm probably going to do a lot more quilting in my design so really excited with how this bag came out i love it so much i'm going to go ahead and show the inside because i already know as always i'm going to have a terrible time showing it on camera because i never get good shots of the insides of my bags but I don't even know if you can see it, but this is the inside of the bag. Again, it is a black interior. It's waterproof, has a zipper pocket back here. My interior logo, when you open up the zipper pocket, it has a tag that says made by Ravel Gaither. Close that up. And then on this side, it has a slip pocket. You can fit quite a bit of things in here. So the slip pocket and it has the whole center compartment. And then these are the little gussets right here that keep the bag from just flying open. And this is a really spacious bag. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's like the perfect size. And again, it is a handbag. So you hold it like this by the handle or you put it on your arm like this. And it's just such a good, it's such a good design and just really good quality. The handles on this feel amazing. I love it so much. But yeah, I do have a really cool name for this piece. I'm gonna call this one the stitch print. And I had a really hard time figuring out what I wanted to call this one because there are so many different options that I can go with with the whole path theme and all that stuff. I love the meaning behind it. I love the name. I think it's really cool. And yeah, this bag is going to be retailing on my website for $745 with the shipping and dust bag included it is currently on my website right now as we speak depending on when you're watching this video if you watch it when i when the video first drops it should be available but if it's after that i can't promise if it's going to be up but yeah i really love this it came out so dope and again we got the price fee on the bottom and she's just beautiful but i thank all you guys for watching this video please make sure you give it a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you can be notified when i upload any new videos or just anything that i might post over on my channel make sure you guys also follow my social medias i have that link down below and my website will also be linked down below if you're interested in anything that i offer to, for sale um, my patterns are also up and available on my website as well i have that link down below and yeah, that's really all that I have to say. Oh, another thing too, another little update. I do have a name now for the people who support my work or just, you know, want to support in any way, shape or form, whether that be online or through sales. I now call you guys the baggers. So anyone who is a supporter of my work or just a fan of it, you are considered a bagger. And as a whole, I call you guys the baggers. I think it's really cool. I announced it on Instagram not too long ago. And a lot of people was like, I love that name. And I love it too. I've been thinking about a name um for a while for you know kind of like building a community in a sense so the baggers is what y'all are you're the baggers and yeah that's really all that i have to say i thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video mad bagger signing out